the challenge event in Itapema. More world-class beach volleyball from the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour. And in the red, a sizzling spike from Zoe Verger de Pre. And Therese Cannon, the blocker. And who will Switzerland start on? A little short serve there on Therese Cannon, who puts that away comfortably. To take advantage, and that's where I, I think Therese and Sponsel are, are so good because Sponsel is just so terminal in transition. Nice cross-body swing. They haven't, Esme had a nice response there. Got dug a couple. Sharp angle swing. Again, nice pass from Cannon. Just tries to cut that cross and good piece of reaction work from both defenders and then a nice finish by Sponsil. Cleverly done. Two line blocks signaled again. So Sponsil sitting in the pocket. That's where she's going to try and work from. Just a little bit in the shadow of that cannon block. With their offense, we saw Zoe the first two times she got served. She ran that back set into them. That just opens up so many little alleys around the block of Therese Cannon. Nice serve down the middle. Good confident pass from Cannon. And that's the shot that she tried last time around. Because they balance each other out so well, where Therese, the, the one kind of Achilles heel of after getting a kill because <laughs> she's making Sarah set a little bit out of system. Well, neither blocker is able to find a way into the game at the moment. Fun for me to watch because these, these teams know each other decently well, right? They played each other in who's who has what tendency? Who's going to struggle with their pass? Who's going to struggle with their set? What does Zoe like to do? What does Therese like to do? Well, the plan there was to go at Cannon. At a pretty exceptional clip at the moment. I'd like to see them start it from the service line. Well, on cue, right on cue. Banged into the corner by Therese Cannon. And it just kind of hit her in the chicken wing perfectly. And then the lefty kill. Very cool. And that was even cooler. Oh, my goodness me. Well, Zoe Verges de Prez life really suits the idea of playing a team that's beaten you already in a top. So Therese throwing a different look with the late pull. And Zoe just had great vision on that shot. Again, just toying with the USA at the moment. Switzerland's still in touch. And how in the world? But on the Beach Pro Tour, they're very strict on lifts. And so you'll see Therese get called a lot. You'll see Sponsor get called a lot. Julia Scholes gets called a lot on lifts. It's just that the new standard haven't really fully adjusted to speeding up those hands. We saw even Andy Benish. I mean, he got... On that. Oh, good retrieve from Cannon. And... Nice work again, short, but Sponsil's on it. Beautiful piece of defensive work, just can't get enough through the ball. And another super touch. Oh, uses the fixtures and fittings beautifully. What a rally and what a shot from Sponsil. First one on the cut shot, the second one that fall away into the sharp. If you have it high, but it comes out spinny, you get called on a double. Whereas if you bring it low and slow, but it comes out clean, you don't get called on a lift. It's a funny kind of double standard in beach. Yeah, nice call and well listened. I'd say from the replay, ball looked out of bounds to me. Got to refocus here. Oh, wow. What a way to get yourself out of trouble and uh, a little bit of a stare. Not crazy out of system, but just out of system enough. And Therese is always back right where she needs that ball. Bubna gets it on the money, but it was too tight to the tape. And Cannon moves across nicely to pick up a kill block. No, we go to Cannon again. Line block again. It's a really tidy play from Switzerland to get that across the net. But Cannon now goes back to her power game. And for me, Travis, when she's doing that in a match. And sometimes uh, just a little focus loss there for Therese. You get five set points and sometimes you can get a little bit careless with it. Luxury, though, four attacks to get it done. And there we go. Just took the one. 21 points to 16. USA lead the bronze medal final over Switzerland by one. With 3.1 per set. And so the blockers just haven't been involved. It's kind of been a defensive heavy tournament. Away we go then with set number two in the bronze medal final. The team in blue from the USA. And she get delivers first point of the second set. And then they decide to change up to Sarah Sponsil as well. It just goes straight down the middle. There we go. 
That's an old Bing Crosby song, isn't it? It wasn't perfect, but Spons was just a perfect deep seam swing. Still going after Verger de Prey more often than not, and Sponsil's starting to get a real read on her. No no oh, wow. X marks the spot. They don't even look that <laughs> realistic, but then there's Sarah Sponsil making it just perfect. Nice little steal across from Bubna. Good power from her, but standing in the pocket, dealt with by Sponsil, goes for the same spot again, well covered by Switzerland. And that's a nice bit of work from Cannon. Oh, good hustle from Switzerland, but it looks like a rally of diminishing returns, and it is. And Switzerland, excellent response. Yeah, nice work, good contact, and beautifully hit across her body, Sponsil. She's very effective on the back sets, but when she has been forced to run something straight up and down, she has struggled a little bit. Goes to the back set, chips it onto the line. Nice angle. Awarded about 50% of the time. And what a match that was. If you haven't, uh, they've had some really good wins on the way. Beat Andressa and Vittoria in the round of 16, the US pair, and beat the Klinger sisters as well in their first match in Pool C. They're in good form at the moment, the Austrians. And there is no hiding place anymore. I was just looking at the depth on the Beach Pro Tour, especially in these Brazilian events, it's staggering. That's a cracking serve. Got a great angle on that. But again, very well controlled by Sponsil. She's in the groove at the moment. Any touches, zero digs, zero touches off the block. And so I think that Sponsil right now is, is their best shot at getting touches, getting defensive plays. Where she's passing the ball. But that's what Switzerland's targeting right now is that Sponsil is strangely out of rhythm as a passer. Well, they're going to go at Cannon just for one. And they might get a point out of this. Oh, that's a good pull. Little turn and burn from Tree's Cannon, and then a nice high hand to go straight over the top of Boomnet. Because it's just one of those where you don't know if the ball is coming over or if it's going to hit the net. Such a tweener as a blocker. So we'll see if Sponsor keeps hammering that left shoulder, and she does. <laughs> Nearly confusion, but Cannon made the play and then goes super deep with the pokey. That's just brilliant. Something out of nothing. So well, and that's just such good mental focus, such good coaching from the coach back home, Scott Davenport and Chris Flood, who's on the road with them. Yeah, I was going to ask you who's still working with the uh, American pair. The, the Swiss pair were working with uh, Christoph Diekmann. And really, that, that's a ball I'd expect Sponsor to be on about nine times out of ten. It's a good heavy serve. And that. It's a very nice line over. It's coming back, but it's under control for Team USA. Yeah, nicely put away. I thought we were going to see an option ball there. And to send a free ball back. That's how effective the US is being. They go back to Verge de Pre. Working out of the middle quite tight. So good read from Sponsil. Just held her position. Was nice and patient behind the block there. The old bumper dump comes up. Trumps. Oh, wow. Little deflection nearly came back, but USA now making this look very straightforward. Hits a not her best cut shot. I like that aggression from the service line from Bobner. Beautiful stuff. It's over. Free ball tidied up nicely by Bobner. Not the best set, though, from Verger de Pre. And her partner is working as hard as you like down there on the sand, but USA get another swing. And this time, the power returns for Cannon consistently to break through on this Beach Pro Tour and a three-point lead instead of a one-point lead. It's just such a big difference. Yeah, nice swing. If you were just to look at body language, not the scoreboard, it would look to you as if Switzerland was winning this match. They are lashing that ball at Cannon at the moment, and she's keeping her side-out game together. A good opportunity for Switzerland, just an unlucky break. Two points away from bronze for Team USA in the blue. It's another great layout dig into the net. Beautifully scooped. Oh, wow. The cut shot has been unavailable. Four match points then for Team USA. Good set from tight to the net and well worked. Verge de Pre to serve. Bubna already at the net. That little tickle off the net just helped Cannon get there. And the high line is beautiful. That is a really classy finish to this game by Team USA. 21-17 then in the second set. They win the bronze medal here in Itapema by two sets to nil over Switzerland.